Hey, what's up guys? So today we have a new custom ROM for our Redmi Note 8. This time we have something OS. Although it sounds like nothing OS, but unfortunately there is nothing like nothing OS. But this ROM is quite amazing. I have been using this ROM for a few days now. It impressed me. Although it, it is an official ROM, but it's kind of really good. So let's go and explore this ROM and let's see how it runs. So the ROM is booted up. As I said, it's nothing like nothing OS. Although the name is kind of like nothing OS, but there is nothing like nothing OS. So going to the setting and about phone. So as you can see here, Android version 14 and the something OS version 1.5 and other things like if I go to Android version, the security patch level is 5th of August 2024, so recent build and you can see the kernel. So they are using UI kernel and going back in terms of UI, it's pretty much similar to OSP based ROM. Unfortunately, there is no features at all like in terms of customization. Although there is option called something as you can see here, if I click something, there is nothing much going on. So there is play integrity and spoofing. So Google Photos unlimited storage is there and also spoof Google Maps and those things here. And in terms of interface, as you can see, we can change boot animation. There are few boot animation. So like something OS, which is default one and you can choose Google-ish and Fox and Dot. A dot is pretty much similar to nothing boot up animation and pixel so these are few boot animation available on this rom and quick setting you can change going back volume panel and f5 setting so those things are there and the system settings there is nothing much going on so in terms of customization there is nothing much going on on this rom in terms of internet and mobile network those things are pretty good there is no issue i have found about those things and in the display section as you can see the ui is pretty much look like aosp and there is no feature at all it's pretty much stock wallpaper and style there is no ai wallpaper option as you can see here no ai wallpaper in terms of battery the battery backup was quite good i have been using this ROM for three four days i haven't seen any kind of battery drain issue or anything like that it's quite good in terms of battery features there is nothing much going on you can see here we can see the battery information that's it we don't have any control over current or there is no way you can limit the charging that's all whatever you are getting with the battery features and sound and vibration everything is working no okay. issue in terms of security we do have both face and fingerprint unlock and both of them works flawlessly no issue and they are pretty fast and also there is no delay if you keep your device for some time if you unlock your device it takes two to three seconds in some roms like evolution x and infinity x rom but on this rom i haven't found that issue so quite good in terms of that and the system setting we do have few other features so pretty much aosp based rom and MIUI camera is pre-installed so it's working perfectly fine no issue everything works and also gcam is working no issue with that so everything is working here as you can see here there are not a lot of application this was a gf speed so we do have few google application and in terms of safety net so safety net is passed so we can use bank application on this rom although it is an unofficial rom but still you can use bank application no issue with that and if we check play store integrity or google play protect certification about as you can see play protect certification is there so there will be no issue with app compatibility or anything like that so everything should work perfectly fine and i did install gemini here but there is no feature like if you press and hold like a circle to search or it takes snapshot or search itself so those features are not available on this rom maybe in future build but in terms of usability the rom is perfectly usable and in terms of gaming i did install call of duty here and as i always play this game on all the roms the gaming performance was pretty good for an unofficial rom and it was quite better than evolution x and infinity x rom so for gaming 
I can recommend this ROM because the performance I was getting from playing game, it was quite good. And rather than that, there is nothing much to say because it's pretty much a OSP build. So there is nothing new here or nothing to talk about the ROM. Everything seems to be working fine. And as much as I have tried this ROM, it is perfectly usable ROM. So the ROM link will be in the description below and many of you asking me to review the F15 ROM. As I said, I will review F15 ROM. I think I have to wait a few more months because F15 ROMs are not really that much usable right now. So I will try F15 ROM after some time but there are a few new ROMs available right now. I will try those first and then I will try F15 ROM. So that's all about something worse for Redmi Note 8. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.